how do you feel now that your bed is broken? Ah. Yeah? Okay. It's pretty sad, huh? Are you sad? Daddy, why is the bed always broke, 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 broke? That's a good question. Look at this. Exhibit A. That's a pretty broken bed, isn't it, Devin? Maybe we get your, your handyman tools to see if you can fix it, huh? Yeah, look. look but let's see the tools. I can show you. Look at my camera. Let me show you, Daddy. See? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of that. I have to only one time, Daddy. Only one time, I know. But with you, one time means five days. It's time for a new bed, Devin. But yet, I think it's time for a new house. And I know exactly who we should talk to. Mia Gustafsson. Come, let's go. The story behind this home is about a family that has moved actually to the countryside instead of living in the city. I think that's a dream for a lot of people. And so it's a family of five. Uh, it's two grown-ups and three kids and they are two and four and six years old. Today I will talk about how to create a home that, uh, that can be for the whole family. It should be safe but also really cozy and it's fantastic to live in. A safe home is crucial for, for living with children uh, it, and it doesn't have to be so hard. What I thought about in this home about safety is of course the children's bedroom because they are just up till six and I think that's the most crucial years where, where a lot of things can happen because they are really curious and want to climb on everything. I made sure uh, in the kids' bedroom that the, all the high furnitures are attached to the wall and of course, uh, or no cables should be loose and uh, for extra secure, you can use these window latches. And of course, toys are super important and at IKEA, every toy is secured and tested and has sometimes also a double function as this little cute little rabbit like this. In this home, uh, all the common areas are really important. I used uh, fewer furnitures but maybe a little bit larger that creates this family-friendly feeling. Instead of the two small sofas, I have used a large sofa that can be used for many different things. For hangout, for watching movies, for playing, for sleepovers, you name it. I think it's super important for kids to learn to be independent and that's what parents and grown-ups can help them with. In the hallway, for example, I did hang a hook rail on their height so they can reach and hang their own clothes. I also created different activity areas for the kids, especially in the living room and in the dining area. One for planting, one for painting, one for reading and yeah, even playing piano. Children are the most important people in the world uh, and by creating a better home where kids can feel secure, uh, can be able to play and be themselves, I really do think uh, they can get a better life. <laughs>